What's up guys, Titan here to review an awesome LEGO Ninjago set. It is the City of Sticks. It is set number 70732. Has a whopping 1,069 pieces. Looks really cool, so let's go ahead and check it out. So here is the first part of this set, and these are kind of the vehicles that come inside of the city there, so that's pretty cool. And of course we do get a wide assortment of uh, ghosts and all kinds of stuff, so let's go ahead and start off with Nia and her speedboat. See it's a really awesome, kind of her red color there, some really cool um, flick fire little stud shooters here, which of course you just fire off the side there, I don't really want to lose that right now, so I'm just going to... Kind of stick that back on there, but those do work just like regular stu or stud shooters. And of course, you do get her little seat there with some really cool control panels on the side there, and a lot of cool fire coming off the back here. Really cool swords and stuff. And what's really cool is you do get Nia in her samurai X kind of form, and of course, she does have her weapons, and of course, she's holding a crowbar, so that's kind of weird, but you know. <laughs> Let's Lego does some weird stuff like that sometimes. And of course, we have Nia with her like Samurai X uh, outfit there. And on this side, we kind of have her regular face on that side. And of course, she does have her armor, which is pretty cool. But I think I think Samurai X is pretty cool. But uh, let's go ahead and look at the ghosts. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side here. And we have a Screamer here, which is kind of a really bizarre creature and it has this really cool uh kind of weapon and is holding a hot dog so that's kind of strange and on this side we also have cyrus which is pretty cool ghost he has some really cool printing on him a really awesome crossbow go ahead and take this off right here kind of see the side of his face there it's kind of a spider looking face so that's pretty cool Try to spin that back around. Some really cool printing on the back side there. And he also has the translucent legs, which is pretty awesome. Go ahead and set him down. And next up, we have Ming. And he has a really awesome sword. Really cool, like kind of one of the elemental looking blades. Of course, it's a ghost weapon, so it's not really the same thing. But it still looks really cool. And there's his translucent legs. And of course, he also has um, some more printing on the face, which is pretty similar to... Uh, uh, Cyrus would and may practically be the same face but of course he's kind of got a different outfit and of course he does have one of the translucent kind of uh, mask there so that's pretty cool next up we have Wraith and he has probably one of the coolest weapons out of the ghost lineup here it just looks really cool it's on this chain and you can kind of swing it around this really looks awesome he's also got kind of the ghost tail there from the new mold and of course he doesn't have any translucent face printing but he does have like just standard kind of ghost looking printing on the black there so that's pretty cool he has a really awesome mask and the last of our ghosts is of course Ghoultar which is probably a really fierce looking ghost he has this really cool looking scythe thing and he also has the new mold for the ghost and of course he has kind of a really unique face too well, let me go ahead and take his hat off here and I'll kind of show it to you kind of see he has kind of a skeleton looking face and of course, he has some really cool armor on there and some really cool printing on the back side of his face. But overall, I think he's a really cool figure. I think they've done a really good job with picking the villains in this line of the Ninjago series. So let me go ahead and move these ghosts over to the side here. And I'll kind of show you the actual ghost ship here. Kind of see it. It's some really cool. It has one of the coolest sails I've seen in a long time. It's kind of tattered and you can kind of move it up and down like this kind of make it look like it's blowing in the wind and you also have some really cool flick fire on the side here which if I can kind of drop the sail down here I'll kind of show you what it looks like you have flick fires on both sides here over here and there and they're kind of stud shooters so you know you fire them out the side there and of course they are just regular little studs and you can just put them back in there so that's pretty cool and of course you have this really kind of unique looking prison thing in here where you can kind of keep a minifigure down in the sail down there and you can lock it and they can kind of break free right like this and you can kind of take this off and you kind of have this little cage door here which if i don't drop it i'll show you but uh it's pretty awesome i think i think it's a really awesome looking ship for like just the ghost to ride around in i think they did a really good job with that but let's go ahead and move on and actually look at the actual city so here is the actual city itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures first. Here we have the evil green ninja, which is basically Maro, so, and Lloyd kind of in physical form. So he has a really cool sword. And of course he has one of the coolest sets of armor I've seen in a long time. Go ahead and take his 
like mask off there and you can kind of see it. it looks really awesome i think that's one of the coolest evil wicked ninja looking mask you can kind of see i'm gonna go take out take his sword off so we can kind of get a closer look at him really cool face really awesome printing on his torso because it's kind of like the evil green ninja so it's really awesome kind of has like evil elements of everything that's green and evil so i think that's really cool i think they did a really good job kind of designing this uh uh evil version of Lloyd and Morrow. I think it's one of the coolest looking figures out of the line. But I'll go ahead and set him down here. And of course we also get the new version of um, Jay. And you can see he has some really cool printing on the front there. And of course he has his standard Jay face. And he does have two swords there which is really cool. I think they did, a, I really like these new uh, uniforms. I think they did a really good job kind of designing those out. I think they look really cool with all the black and the color in them. I think that's really cool. And here's uh, Kai. And he has some really cool printing on his legs and torso. And of course, he always has his battle damage face, although he's not really like that in the show at all. But that's okay. And I really like the, the fact that he has this really cool black armor. So overall, I think that's a really cool uh, kind of uh, a lineup of figures in this half. I like all the figures. There's a lot of figures in the set In the first half of the set You do get this kind of rickety bridge thing that has these kind of windmill looking things with all these tattered Looking cloth and of course there's a thing up there. You can kind of set a uh, figure up on and There's a really cool kind of cannon which you can kind of load stuff up with these little uh, Pieces and they're really easy to fall out. So watch out and you can just kind of load this little cannon up like this and of course it works just like a regular cannon you can kind of shoot it off there and you can see that one's gone now but there are some really cool pieces and it kind of hooks together it's kind of rickety and of course there's a little treasure chest down here which take it out and kind of show you guys and it's got some a bunch of different gems in there with all different colors so that's pretty cool and you just kind of set that right back under here and of course there's a it doesn't really attach properly you just kind of have to put the ladder up next to it. But I'll go ahead and set this aside so I can actually get to the actual main part of the city. Now I did take the top part off so I can kind of show you guys everything on camera. The top part right here is just this one little thing that's easily to attach to the top. And of course you do have the scroll of air jitsu sitting at the top of the tower. You can see it just kind of sits right there on this little kind of platform thing and you do have this really huge kind of flick fire ball shooter thing at the top which as you can see it's really powerful and you do get two of them so that's really cool and of course it does just set right up here but to show you guys the whole picture of the review i kind of have to take it off because this is a really big set guys and as you can see i'll kind of there is some really cool play features in the back here i'll kind of turn around show you guys some of the stuff in there and let me kind of zoom my camera in a little bit you can kind of see there are some really cool things in the bottom here like there's a spider and over here there's actually a skeleton minifigure just kind of standing up on the wall here kind of see him he's just kind of laying in the bottom of the pit there and you do have this little thing right here that you can kind of open and close if you'll notice on this side you see whenever you move that you can kind of open this special kind of passageway which is really awesome and of course let me zoom in a little bit here and you do get one of the coolest things in the set is you do get actually a shop which is supposed to be Ronin shop you can kind of see the sign right there above this little thing and that that's pretty awesome let me go ahead and take this cage feature off for a minute you can kind of see everything in the inside there there is a little uh thing in here and inside of that we have uh, a little bit of a microchip if i can get it out here Nice, if I can get it out. There's a microchip hidden underneath the little cabinet or the little table thing there. And there's all kinds of stuff. There's a sword and also a really secret book. Like here, let me get this out here so I can kind of show you guys. It is really easy to take out. As you can see, you can take everything out really easy. And kind of open this book here. And there is this kind of like really secret looking uh, ninja sh like paperwork stuff in there. So that's pretty cool. And you can see on the other side we also have the arrow blade right here which is kind of stand up as the prize of the whole ronin's kind of shop which is kind of like in the story and of course over here we do have a crate with another one of the balls to shoot off the top of the actual city and of course just a spider laying in there for some reason and on the second floor up here kind of raise this up kind of show you guys 
a little bit more. Let me zoom out a little bit. You can see up here on the second floor, there isn't a whole lot up here. There's basically just a table, and you can pull this out and drop kind of like a secret kind of trap door. And there's a little green bottle up there. We'll zoom out a little bit more. You can kind of see the whole thing. Not a whole lot of detail on that second floor. And of course, we do have this crane right here that has this really cool translucent kind of um like kind of lift so you can kind of put any kind of figure you want in this cage i'll go ahead and stick the skeleton in here because he's already dead so there's no need to worry about him and we'll go ahead and put him on there like that and you can kind of lift it up and down like this and drop or raise however you like and of course you do get a little ladder bridge here for things to walk up on and stuff but overall i think it's a pretty cool set i think it's pretty awesome I like all the details in it. It's probably one of the most detailed Ninjago sets that I've seen in a long time besides the Destiny's Bounty. That was a pretty awesome set too. And I'll go ahead and stick the top on top there so you can kind of see it. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this set. And I will see you guys next time.